Hi everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Chika from Chikeli Beauty. So, let's talk skincare, okay? I got a few questions from some of my followers, which like I'm, re I'm grateful. Thank you guys for all your support. I mean, I've been getting loads of messages, loads of positive feedbacks. This blog is all about you. I can't do it without you. So I thank you for all the feedbacks. I thank you for the emails and keep them coming. I promise you, I will reply as soon as possible, okay? So now today I'm going to talk about uh, some messages I got from my followers of some skincare issues that they may have, you know, that's like bothering them and they want to sort it out as soon as possible. And um, I've been answering all the questions. I have the questions here with me. I've printed them out and I've been answering questions. So instead of sending them direct e emails, I feel, you know, it's better for me to do a video so that even some some of my followers that may have the same problem and maybe wasn't able to send me email. So and the ones, even the ones that are not my followers, so they will be able to benefit from from this. So I'm going to I uh, be talking about the questions. I'm going to take them one at a time and answer them as much as I can. And if you know, if I did answer or well, if you're not satisfied with the answer you can still send me email and i will try as much as i can you know to make you feel better and this is what this blog is about like i said before it's in a community blog and it's all about skincare it's all about skin glow radiant skin like radiant looking skin so the first question i got is one of my followers he sent me a question he said my eyes are always puffy I've tried so many things, but it's not working. Please, what do I do? Because it makes me look older than my age. I can truly understand because puffy eyes, I've spoken to a lot of ladies about this. It gives them, you know, huge concern. Yeah, it does make someone look older. But not to worry. There's a solution for it. So the first thing, uh, the first suggestion I can uh, give to you is you know cucumber slices. I mean, cucumber, you can get them in the drugstore, you can get them in the grocery shops, cucumber slices. So you can use cucumber slices. What you do is you take them out there, you put them in the fridge, you can freeze them maybe for 24 hours. You then bring them out, especially at night before you go to bed. So you slice them, cut them into, you know, psycho slices, tiny slices, and then you just Put, put one slice in one eyes, put one slice in one the other eyes, and lie on your bed and you know snooze away, <laughs> and um, maybe for about ten or fifteen minutes or so, and then you take them out. And I promise you, when you if you continue doing it, maybe in three, four, before seven days, you you start to notice a huge difference. Another one is. Um, I always tell some of my uh, people that come to my skincare class or even even one on one skin consultation I think I usually prefer you use serum on, under your eyes any eye serum if you go to my blog www.chikellybeauty.com I have few recommendations there of eye serum that you can use for your eyes and I, it's, it really works so what those eye serum is going to do because they are much much stronger than ordinary eye cream you apply them on your eyes after cleansing you apply them in, and then you use your ring finger and you just dab it around dab it give it a few seconds maybe 10 to 20 seconds dab it make sure you like you won't be able, you you don't see it it's like all dissolved you won't be able to see it and then you can you know do it for about every single day if you can every single day before you go to bed you just you do it and then you know you should be able to begin to see difference on your skin after a week or so. You should be able to see a huge difference under your eyes. It should be, the puffiness should be able to reduce if you go, if you get a good eye serum. And um, the other one is the um, I usually also recommend that you 
Because most times, if you use too much of computer, for us that are bloggers and people, even people that work in offices, they use a lot of computer. So yeah, they, if you use a lot of computer, or in LA, maybe even phones, you're constantly straining your eyes. It does give puffy, uh, puffy eyes. It does give dark, dark circles under your eyes. So you need to be able to, you know, reduce the amount of time you use the computer or your phones and sleep early. Sleep early. Get give get enough seven to eight hours of sleep. So if you follow the, all these recommendations, you should be able to notice a huge difference. Okay. Now the second question I got was. My skin is very dry. What products do you recommend for me to use? Okay, I talk about these skin uh, types all the time. When it comes to skin types, sometimes it's something that you're born with, or you know, you can get it in your adult age due to environment, or if you use the wrong skin type, the skin product for your for your skin type, you know, it can result to you getting a different skin type than what you usually what you you normally know as you know something you grew up with as your, as your skin type so what i recommend is if you have a dry skin as long as you're not a smoker if you're a smoker i think you know you, you constantly have a continuous dry skin because as you're smoking you know you're using a lot of muscles on your lungs so your lungs is not getting enough oxygen that's why you get dry skin if you're a smoker. So the first thing I recommend if you're a smoker, you know, you can, if it's possible, you can give up smoking. And I'm sure after that, you begin to notice a huge difference because your skin is not getting enough oxygen when you smoke because you know, you're, you're, you're giving your lungs a lot of pressure from the smoke, you know, so you're not getting enough oxygen. Oxygen is what makes our skin glow. Oxygen is, it, it helps with you know the condition of our skin the texture and the next thing is you you need to avoid using too much of gel cleansers i usually recommend if you have a dry skin i usually recommend you use a cream cleanser because when you use a cream cleanser cream cleanser doesn't have too much you know sorry the the gel cleanser I have you know it forms a lot so what it what is it, it does to your skin is especially if you don't have if you don't have makeup on in your skin you don't need to use a gel cleanser if you have very dry skin because you're trying to bring a lot of moisture on your skin that is dry skin lacks moisture so what you should do is use the cream cleanser because cream cleanser helps to hydrate your skin and improve the moisture in your skin while gel cleanser takes a lot of that natural oils which you don't have and you know you're trying to preserve the little one you have so try to avoid using um, too much gel cleanser and um, you know my recommendation all the time if you want a glowing skin exfoliate 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 you need to exfoliate your skin use the right scrub for your skin you know look for um, you know some of the exfoliate uh, stores that have you know, contains glycolic acid, contains um, AHA, which helps to, you know, keep your skin really moisturized and less dry. And, you know, what, what you, another th disadvantage of having dry skin is it makes you kind of age quick. So those agents, the, a um, the alpha hydraulic acid, glycolic acid, those agents, if you use the, any product that contains those agents on your skin, what it's going to do is, it's going to help to retain the moisture on your skin and reduce dryness and also stop your skin from that you know, fast aging uh, process that usually happens when you have dry skin. So you look for exfoliators that contains glycolic acid or contains lactic acid or contains AHS, alpha hydraulic acid and you should be able to notice a huge difference in your skin another recommendation is you need to try and drink plenty of water at least eight to ten cups of water a day you cannot afford you know not to do that when you have dry skin dry skin needs plenty of you know hydration 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 so you need to take plenty 
of water. Another recommendation of, from me is moisturizing your skin. Most of you that know me that have been to my classes, my skincare classes, knows how I love moisturizing your skin. I mean, that moisturizing is like giving your skin food. Hmm? It can't survive without food. So if you don't moisturize your, your skin, you're starving your skin of food. So moisturize your skin. Sing it with me. Moisturize your skin. <laughs> So you moisturize your skin at least two times a day. You moisturize in the morning and then you moisturize in the night before you go to bed because it usually works really well, moisturizes at night because your metabol metabolism is low so your skin works much better with products when you use them at night. Okay, I hope I answered that very well. And... Um, the next question is still on the dry skin issue. The one I got from, um, I don't want to mention the name, but it says my skin feels dry and flaky and it gives me a lot of concern and insecure, especially when I wear short dresses. How do I get rid of it? Yeah, still the same uh, question, still the same answer I gave on the other, the other question. It said, like I said, if you follow the, the instructions, you follow the procedures that, that I, you know, I've just mentioned above, and sure, within you know, three months, you should be able to see a huge difference in your skin. Okay? So the next question is, how long does it take for products to start showing results in the skin? Well, honestly, um, it depends on your skin type. It depends on your skin type and it too it depends on um, age for before you start seeing a huge you know improvement on your skin if you're using the right product for your skin type it's all about using the right product for your skin type if you're using the right product for your skin type and if you have any skin issues you should be able to start seeing maybe an improvement in the seventh day a week seven to 14 days but what happens is when it comes to that it depends on age as well because as you age your metabolism you know your um, skin, sorry no metabolism sorry your, your skin renewal process slows down you know which is the collagen collagen is what gives us that you know glowy kind of look and radiant look that's why i usually say once you clock that 25 25 years old especially we ladies <laughs> yes we age quicker than the men you know childbirth hormones stress yes so once you clock that age of uh, 25 you need to start using anti-aging products you need to start taking very good care of your skin so that you in your 40s and 50s and 60s when someone sees you you tell them your age they won't even believe it you know it feels good when you tell someone your age and like really are you sure wow you don't look your age so it feels really good psychologically it does feel good emotionally it does feel good so yeah skin renewal process slows down when we you know as we age um, that's why um, you need to start using something anti-aging products moisturizing your skin exfoliating your skin is very good to kind of you know increase that process of skin renewal that skin renewal process exfoliating your skin you know get rid of the dead skin the dead cells and then let the new ones allow the new ones to come up you know and that's why that's what what gives your skin that glow okay the next question is so with the sorry uh, let me just finish the other one what i just remembered now is so if, at, if you maybe we want you're like past that 25 so um that 25 years uh, like, like i said so usually takes give it three months before you start seeing results so you give it like three months and you should be able to start seeing much improvement on your skin when you're using the right product for your skin type so the fifth question says 
Should I change my skincare routine as often as I like? Well, yeah, not all the time. If the product is, if the product is still good on your skin, I don't think you should change it. But there's another thing. You, you can't use products that you're using when you're a teenager and then still using it when you're an adult. It doesn't, um, it doesn't work that way. So, um, if the pro if product is still working on your skin, yes, you can, you don't need to change it. But once you clock that 25, yes, you should change the skincare product that you're using and get something a little bit stronger than what you are using when you're a teenager, okay? But if you're an adult and you're using something and it's working, you don't need to change it. Keep to it. Keep to it. As long as it's not causing any problem on your skin, your skin is not having any issues, yeah, keep to it. Okay, you don't need to change it. Yeah. So the next question is, um, should I use facial cleanser every day? Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes, you should cleanse your skin every day. For someone with dry sensitive skin, maybe once a day, you know, once a day is okay. Except, you know, if you have a makeup on, you can't sleep. You know how I preach against having makeup on, going to bed with makeup? Nah. So if you have dry or sensitive skin, Cleanse your skin at least once a day. But oily combination skin, you really need to cleanse your skin two times a day. And please don't go to bed with, without cleansing your face. Don't, don't go to bed without cleansing your face. Because your, your, your our skin gets a lot of pollution. Even the ones you, we don't see. Yeah, you know. So that's the reason why I encourage you to cleanse your skin. Always cleanse your skin before you go to bed and then moisturize it and, and let, let your skin glow. You wake up in the morning, you look at your face in the mirror and you know, it glows. It, there's a huge difference when you don't cleanse your skin. You don't cleanse your face before you go to bed. There's a huge difference when you wake up in the morning. There is, there is a huge difference. Try it. You know, try the experiment and, and t tell me if it's true or not. Okay, so yeah, you need to cleanse your skin at least twice a day for oily and combination skin and then dry skin at least dry sensitive skin at least once a day okay the sixth question says that my skin is very oily how do i solve the problem okay oily skin sometimes is as a result of overproduction of sebum so sebum is what gives the large pores on our on our skin okay so um and oily, oily skin, like you're usually prone to breakouts. Most of people that have oily skin, they don't like to wear makeup. They're always complaining if I wear makeup now within one or two hours, my uh, the, the, you know the makeup is just spoiled because of too much oil. So what I recommend for you is with oily skin, you really need to because it's like this overproduction of sebum and sebum. sebum like I put here is um, uh, too much of it. It's good. So what gives our skin that glow? But it's, it, when you produce too much, it's not. It's not usually that good. It's not usually that that good because sometimes it results to large pores on your face, and and then you're trying to. It, it can give too much concern. But don't worry. There's a there's a solution to it. So the first thing you do is cleanse, cleanse and cleanse yes because um cleansing at least twice a day like i mentioned earlier it helps to reduce the oil the you know the oil the, the too much oil it helps to reduce it and look 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 out for gel cleansers if you go to my blog chickalibeauty.com i have a few recommendations of good Forming cleansers there, forming clean facial wash, most people call it facial wash, most people call it facial cleanser that you can use for your skin. So, um, ah, but you have to at least cleanse twice a day. Cleanse twice a day. 
the next thing is exfoliate your skin <laughs> yes exfoliate your skin you exfoliate your skin um at least two three times a week yeah you really need to do that you really need to um do exfoliate your skin because it's going to help to reduce the oil product that overall production of oil sebum is going to help to reduce it and it will help you also help to you know reduce you from having too much breakouts to reduce have too much breakouts and you know too much pimples coming out on your face and yeah. and then you have to look for products that is suitable for your skin don't go by because your friend Lucy says she uses product that you know she uses something and you see oh my god Lucy's skin is really good and then you you go ahead and buy things that Lucy is using but Lucy may have dry skin or Lucy may have sensitive skin Lucy may not have the same skin type you have so it's really good to have to get um, a professional to um, tell you you get your skin analyzed and then you'll be able to um, know what which skin type or what skin type you belong to. And if you if you need help, even if you don't live, you know, you're not close to me. We can have a video chat. You know, I'll tell you what to do, and then I, I will show you. I will tell you, you know, what skin type you have, and then and then recommend products for you. That's what I'm here for. That's what the blog is for. You know, it's a community blog. It's all about looking good. I love it when I see people looking at their skin. I don't care what you're wearing, but your skin it speaks for itself if you look after it. Okay. So the next question is the and if you go to my blog as well, chickelebeauty.com, there's a, there was a post I put there a um, few months ago about ABC of uh, skincare. You should be able to when you follow the procedure there, you should be able to know what skin type you fall into. Okay, so hop over there, go check it out. It's it's very informative post. And then the eighth question says, I noticed lately that my skin is having fine lines, especially in my forehead. Yeah, fine lines is um it is a popular word. Is everybody, especially we ladies, use it all the time, you know. Fine lines, um, you can see it mostly on, um, you know, Caucasian skin. Our, because me, I'm black. So most of us, our skin doesn't, it doesn't wrinkle. Our black skin sucks. So Caucasian skin is when it's aging, it's sometimes you see it, you know, fine lines everywhere. And, um, well, the first thing I need to tell you, if you if you start noticing that, is get yourself regular facial massage by a professional. But I have a video coming up in maybe a week or so, where I'll be showing you how to do self, you know, facial massage. You can do it in the comfort of your home. And what that, what the facial massage is going to do. It's going to help to produce, you know, to improve you know, collagen production on your skin. And the collagen production is what makes our skin look good, looks young. So those massage movements we show you, tell you what to do. So you can do it in your home if, if you don't have time now that, you know, we're all in lockdown because of coronavirus. So you can do the massage by yourself you know in the comfort of your home and those massage is going to help with the collagen and oxygen production and those oxygen production and collagen production is going to help to plump your skin a bit more improve the texture of your skin and reduce those fine lines okay then the second thing you need to look for an anti-aging product and you, you know especially serum serum is i don't use creams on my face i use only serum you know for the past 10 years now that's what i've been using for my skin serum and it's been good you know i don't like using too much cream on my skin so um if you go on my website i have recommend product recommendations there that you can use 
um, and those are very good anti-aging products, the ones that contain retinol, glycolic acid, lactic acid, vitamin C, vitamin E. All these products help with reducing fine lines, okay? But massage is very important. Exfoliating your skin is very important. Drinking plenty of water. Water is very good because it removes a lot of toxins. And those things are what gives us very bad skin look, you know, wrinkle, dryness. So drinking plenty of water is good. And I have some home remedies too on my blog that you can, you know, when you check them, when you go to my blog and check it out, some home remedies with honey, with aloe vera, and then those products, I'm telling you, they, they work. I, 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 you know, I can attest to that they work. You know, so you check them out and then you give me feedback and tell me what you think. Does it work? Does it not work with all this? you know, recommendations that I've given today. And then um, keep the questions coming and I'll answer them as soon as I can. I thank you so much for all your support. I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm very grateful, seriously, I am. And um, this is gonna be my first skincare video. <laughs> and it's going live on YouTube. And please, I want you to go to my YouTube channel, Chikeli Beauty. Please subscribe, like, and share. And thank you, and thank you so much. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.